know. Would death or COVID be an excuse? It depends on what you're avoiding, I guess. Yeah, that's 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 more of it. It depends on what you're avoiding. Like, an excuse of death, what, I mean. Like you're trying to avoid going to work? Yeah, I guess. Oh, well, I mean, that's a- <laughs> <laughs> no, hold up, hold up, nigga, I, I got COVID right now. I can't come over there. <laughs> nigga, we can't show up. We got you COVID. Get out of that thought. Get out of yeah. that Give that toy. I tried to get out. I realized she wasn't really the one. Was I not COVID, the one. You can't come over. You can't want that. <laughs> I guess what's off limits is I don't think you should put death on anybody to avoid any but kind of situation. what if this person is already dead? That's fucked up. They did anyway. You can't kill them again. Exactly. First of all, y'all niggas is crazy. So, <laughs> so, so, give me an example Listen, of an head, excuse. Grandma. See, no. no, that's not an excuse. Well, my grandma died, and and I can't go nowhere. So what? Well, Maybe you no, want to grieve twenty no. years later. What? Maybe you want to grieve twenty years later. So that's that an day. excuse that's acceptable now. If I said it, I meant it. <laughs> <laughs> if I said it, then I motherfucking meant it. Yes, sir. Yes, I sir. <laughs> so I, um, I don't think it's acceptable. I not not death. I might say I was in a car wreck or something, and I can't show up, or I got a flat tire. But death, COVID, I COVID, and I don't want to be insensitive, but COVID. I mean, it's like a cold, so I can use COVID. Not according to the three hundred thousand people. It has passed right. away from it. Well, no, it's see, definitely not just a common no, it's not just cold. a I mean, cold. I ain't say a common cold. I said it was like a cold. It's like pneumonia. It's like the yeah. flu. It's and like you need to not be around people because you're gonna get. It so to I can use that as an excuse, but death yeah. is not acceptable for death me. Death is not acceptable, especially if that person didn't really die. Oh, unless they died of COVID, then that's, <laughs> <laughs> then that's, boots. That is, that's not acceptable for me. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be insensitive. I really don't, but. Um, we live on Instagram, real fantasy underscore podcast, y'all real underscore fantasy underscore podcast. Make sure y'all go tune in, go like, go to Instagram, do all that good shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, share and subscribe. How? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So ladies, I, cause since it's a ladies night tonight, ladies night, what is a thing that you turns you off for ever dating a person again? Even if they find they got the job, they got the car, they got the nice size, and mm, they got their shit together, but what would turn you off from ever fucking with them again? It's there's there's such a long list. I need it. I need to go. List. You I got a long list. I mean, my list is kind of short. So so tell me your. <laughs> you yes. know how I feel about men not taking care of their kids, right? If you don't respect your mom, uh huh, can't deal with it. Okay. Because if you don't care about them, you can't possibly give a fuck about me and mine. That's a little bit on the moral standpoint, right? Yeah. So tell me something on a physical standpoint. Small. Anything. <laughs> a small. Look, I'm a big girl. I'm 5'9", 199 pounds. Uh-huh. I don't want nothing small. No small hands, no small feet, no small nose. Listen, I can't want any of that. I asked her earlier today, y'all. I said, <laughs> I said um, Danielle, Danny, what, what, what you don't like? She said, small nose. I said, well, all the people that you talk to have small nose, but I never heard you talk about small nose. Oh, no, what was it? Small features on so, your face. <laughs> <laughs> no beady eyes. Small mouth. Yeah. None of small eyes. I, I asked in the car today, I said, damn, I never heard a female say, I need a big dick nigga. Because we was listening to Megan Thee Stallion, right? And she was like, well, I need a big dick nigga. I said, but I never physically heard you say I have to have a big dick nigga. Like, I've never heard nobody say I have to have a big nose nigga. <laughs> <laughs> true indeed, true indeed. But I was asking this question because, like, on the song you say, I want a, I want a nigga with some money and a long dick. You know what I'm saying? So do females really say that shit? I mean, I don't say it, but that's what I prefer. I mean, mm. I know girls who prefer small ones. Medium size? Medium, medium. 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 <laughs> <Smedium. laughs> oh. medium I mean, everybody size. Everybody got their preference, I guess. Mm. Me, I like them all. I like them small, short, tall, and big. You're nasty. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they call me Icky. They don't call me Icky Vicky for no reason. You feel me? You're nasty. Yes, 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 yes. Mm-mm, mm. Y'all ladies don't, don't want to touch in on something? What? Y'all being fucking boring tonight. First of all. I, you can't try to get drunk, nigga. We got a show. First of all, show. it's my birthday. 
Mm-hmm. And you really gonna try to play me like that on the day that I was birthed? You was not birthed today. Wait a minute. Cause what? Birthday you was not birthed today. Huh? Because it was your birthday at the beginning of the year. Exactly. Her birthday don't oh, y'all go remember on. That? not in Capricorn season no more. Y'all remember Absolutely that? Absolutely not. Pisces. It's my motherfucking season. <laughs> the 15, make sure y'all tune in. It's going to be ladies night. We're about to be night. motherfucking wow. Wild as fuck. So listen, in a black community, are drugs more recreational or fat based? Do y'all, what y'all think? Uh, I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. I mean... First of all, what is a recreational drug user? Motherfucker. Molly. Molly is a recreational. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I had to get into it. fat based weed. I get, uh, no, no, I wouldn't think, I wouldn't say weed is. Weed is. Is it, is it just because it's weed popular? Weed. Uh, do you think people doing drugs? I do think that people doing drugs, some people are doing drugs because it's popular. I, I, I just didn't follow that trend. I mm-hmm. can't really speak on a drug use because I ain't ever used drugs. So I have the usage of weed, lean so. and Percocets and Molly. No, that shit. The songs. Sh- yeah, who made it popular? Allegedly, who? Future. <laughs> <laughs> Not Future. <laughs> who? <laughs> who? The last time boys. Then they used to girl. Well, that was popular before then. Listen, my homeboys used to do drugs. What kind Herp, of drugs? Um, cocaine. Cocaine. Sniffing cocaine. To shit sexes on bank. Bank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, you know, I used to take Xanaxes. But well, they was prescribed by the doctor. But I liked them a lot. Oh. They, they made me feel good. But it was a prescription. I never bought them off the streets. But, you know. You remember that one time when I was at oh, work shit. and I was sleepy. I was really sleepy at so work, So I was right? like, Danielle. <laughs> she was like, oh, so I got a pill that's going to keep you up. I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> Like literally ten minutes later, <laughs> I'm just nah, my homegirl Nessa. She was like, "What the fuck is wrong with what you?" Is going on? I was like, "I don't know." Bacon gave me um, a pill to keep me up. <laughs> Come to find out, this bitch gave me a, a um, Ambien. I gave it. This she was sleeping at the bar. She was, <laughs> yeah, right? she was serving drinks at the bar like this. <laughs> I said, "Ain't no way, nigga. Ain't, no, like, ain't no way you did." Her I like said, that. "Oh, guess what? I gave you the wrong one." <laughs> I gave. <laughs> <laughs> no. I gave you the right. Her. I meant to give her a Xanax. Xanax, it I mellows Xanax you out. Pe- make people go to sleep too. It mellows me out. Either way, I probably wouldn't sleep. My homegirl was like, "I don't want whatever you had. <laughs> whatever you taking, I don't <laughs> want it." I, I want said, it. <laughs> "Shit, I had stopped taking them though, uh, November 2019 because they they very addictive. Even like I don't smoke weed because I it just." I just can't smoke weed. I can't function on weed. I can't think on weed. But I am a motherfucking alcoholic. You got a shot? We taking it. Amen to that. So, with do do y'all think people even even with the young generation? Do y'all think they're just taking drugs just to be popular? Do y'all think they taking them because they like them? I have no idea. I, I think that they take them because they're popular, and then once they take them, they like it. And then that and that's when they get addicted addiction. to it comes in yes i think that some people like some younger people might have uh-huh. anxiety or something like that and they might have a friend like yo take this zany or whatever whatever and they end up liking it yeah so like a, a lot of people do adderall as well yeah y'all know mm-hmm. what adderall is right i it's think it's the like, adh it's, medicine yeah. yeah it's you know it has cocaine in it correct it's, adderall is i cocaine. don't know if, i don't know if it's a cocaine in there yeah but it it's is. an opium i mean no, it's a coca plant. And it, what is it? I'm not for sure. It has cocaine in it. It's, oh, I know based, it's in the same category as it, but I don't it, know if it has it in there. It, it's, 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 listen. Because it Dr. Umar said. What Dr. Umar said? <laughs> <laughs> not too well, old girl, Vanessa, to one of his rallies. She was like, I don't like that motherfucker. I said, Mind why you, not? Vanessa is mixed. <laughs> she was like, because when I told her when we was going, I said, I just want you to be mindful. He's very pro-black on everything. And my homegirl, Vanessa, she's mixed. And she, you know, she she tapped into a little bit more of her 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 black side a little bit more. But when she went in there, she was like, mm-mm. I disagree with a lot of things he was saying. And I was just like, you got to think about it. It's from his point of view. Dr. Umar is pro-black. So anything that dilutes or tampers into being black, he don't like it at all. And your ass is non-existent. Exactly. But he said if you have a, a quarter of black in you, you're black. But we still he's dilute kind of, I understand a lot of his views, but he's overbearing. What do you mean by that? He's he's just a little too much for me. Too much? Too much. Uh, People I, can't I, I, help what color skin they are. 
They can't. You, you know, I don't think black people can be racist, right? But I think Dr. Umar is the only racist black person I've ever heard of. <laughs> <laughs> Why you don't think black people can be racist? Is it because racism is a, a superior, someone that thinks that they're a yes. superior race, so you don't think black people can feel like they're superior? We are superior. We are. So does that make us racist? We don't have the, how should I put this? We don't have the funds to be superior. We have a lot of black people that's getting I'm not nothing. saying they're not, but mm-hmm. it's more. Over here in America, do you think it's worldwide? Across the world. Across the world. Yeah, I, I guess you could say that. I, I guess you could say so, ladies. Like, y'all know it was Valentine's Day <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so, listen. Happy Side Chicks Day. Yes, it's Side Chicks Day today. Side Chicks side Monday. Day. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me, how y'all feel about Side Chicks? I don't feel no way about them. Why? I've never been one. So, you don't you don't feel sympathetic to the Side Chicks? She chose to be that. Bitch, you want to be a side chick, so wear the crown. Well, ooh, ooh. and wear it with grace, bitch. Wear it with, grace. with grace. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So what you feel about side grace. chicks? I don't even give a damn. You don't give a damn about side chicks? <laughs> so have you ever been a side chick? Uh, not purposely. Not uh, on a mistake? Yeah, I didn't know I was the side chick. They happened so, to me one time. So what happens when you don't know you the side chick? You got to get rid of that whole situation. Yeah. It's, it's all or nothing with me. Throw it in a garbage can. But what if that dick's so good you just like. It's, mm. it, listen, it's more than that one. Don't, um, mm-hmm. It's more than one. So with that being said, like. Remember I was a side like, chick one time and the dude wasn't going home. I didn't know y'all. Let me clear that up. What? So I had met this dude. We just having a ball. Good time. Like five months in. I found out he got a whole girlfriend. I'm like, nigga. When, when did you go home? Why was at work? <laughs> what was she at on all these trips? I don't know. Listen. And then when I found out he had a whole wife. A whole, a whole wife. Oh, I remember a, a situation wife. like that. I could. I was just like, you know, I would never want a woman to feel that way. Like, yeah. that shit now, hurts. Girlfriend, I'm not too, I don't, I don't care. Listen, your nigga try to holler at me. I might not know he had a girlfriend, but if you got a wife that's completely off limits, I would never disrespect something that was connected like that. He did. I didn't know. I wouldn't, I, know I wouldn't have did it on purpose, mm-hmm. but he let shit get out of hand. He did. He, he fell in love with that conchie. Mm. That conchie was so good <laughs> to him. So let me ask y'all this with, with this so being said. Five months? Five, months? five months. With this being said, like, how do y'all feel about, being with somebody that has this with multiple people, but y'all don't have the say of a title. Yeah, nobody. He has a title with nobody. So why would you feel some type of way about because it? Because you, he took you, you agreed. He took to you this. out on side chick Monday. If you don't take me out on the, but he he dealing with multiple women. You just got you you just got to wait your turn. How would you feel about? I'm not that? waiting no turn. But you already know it's open. So I'm, I mean, I'm you, you not, say you you, know you shouldn't mean, feel no kind of way about it. Sure. I'm not waiting on a turn. So you want to be on the 14th instead of the 15th? What about the 13th? More than likely, mm-hmm. I'm with another nigga on the 14th. Okay, so it's okay for him to because y'all dating, right? It's okay. So that don't make me a side chick. I said celebrate Valentine's on that side chick day. Okay, yo, I'm just saying though. You know, I like to be first, so we're gonna celebrate on the 13th. On the 13th, <laughs> <laughs> let me step in this game right. Damn, let me, let, me, let me do this. <laughs> let me get that. You know, celebrating. Only thing that I'm like crazy about is my fucking birthday. My birthday is my it's own a holiday. personal holiday. Mm-hmm. I don't. I I like Valentine's. Okay, yeah, I like all holidays. But y'all know where Valentine's came from, right? Really what was Valentine? Do you know what was Valentine? Tim. It was it was a fucking massacre to purify. Did y'all know that? And we celebrated for love. Cupid might have wanted to kill them people. Yes, <laughs> and we do, and I'm just like <laughs> we like we we celebrate this. Like it, if you know the true meaning of a lot of shit, you wouldn't even be like, man. These are pagan holidays. Pagan holidays. So what is a pagan? Huh? Yo, daddy. My daddy. Ooh. ooh. Sorry, daddy. I'm just joking. I love you. <laughs> Pagan holidays. <laughs> it, it, it is, but it's a lot of religions that I guess Africans and You can't us, even co- compare real entities and religions with Christianity. We can't do we, that. We can't. 
You don't think they take some pieces from it? No, we know that we know they do. That's why they can't be compared when you know what's real and what's not. Yeah. Constantine. Constantine. Made the pagan holidays and Christianity. He made it popular. Mm-hmm. So he done took a lot of shit from what it actually is. Mm -hmm. And you know what's crazy? I um read the book of Enoch. Have y'all ever read the book of Enoch? I haven't read it, but I touched on it. Oh my yeah, god. It, it it they took it out of the Bible because it was a lot of stuff that contradicted the Bible. But y'all should go read the book of Enoch. Like that shit was like Phew. I'm about was, to turn water into wine. It was saying like <laughs> she's stupid. It was saying like how many like like the different guys of mm -hmm. what everything is. It's not just one guy, it's it's different guys of Almost Honestly, like, I don't know what I believe with it. Like, I don't know if it's just one guy or a lot of guys, but I do know it's a higher power. Right. It, it absolutely is. Right. And a bigger energy and the vibrations and all that, You, know, it, it is. Yeah. I I believe in that. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely not going to, like, I mean, the Book of Psalms has a lot of great philosophies. Do they sing in this book you speak of? <laughs> <laughs> But as far as religion, and I'm not a religious person, I'm more spiritual. I believe in the universal laws. You, I believe in the universal laws, too. I believe in karma. I believe in the universal law. I believe in the law of attraction. I believe in all of that. And I believe in um, within yourself. You have God within yourself. And you can mold yourself to be what you want it to be if you... Intertwine all I've been together. trying to mold myself into a millionaire for days, nigga, for years. Tap into that subconscious, all my life, and then you shall see. And you shall receive. I'm about to be rich, bitch. When I be rich, I'm still fucking with y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask y'all this: Before going viral, who who Soldier Boy said he was the first one to actually go viral. But before, I can't remember anything. Prior to him, though, honestly, I he, don't, and he I said don't that. Remember YouTube before him? Me neither. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. He he said I'm the reason why viral is viral because Soldier Boy. Crazy I can believe I, I can believe that. So before going viral, do y'all think that was things that could have went viral back then before we had the YouTube and we had the, you know, Instagram and the Facebook? Do y'all think like what was in our in in back in our days that could have went viral? You. He went viral with that. <laughs> Don't watch me. You. So what else? Like, imagine having, like, Instagram and shit with my mom and it was back there doing. They would have been in Freak, freak Neat. Neat. Freak Neat. Imagine if that but shit would have went viral. Uh, honest, oh. Let me see that. So do y'all think, like. I don't want to think about it. Yeah, no, mama, you know, I, know. I, I believe my mama was like throwing it ass in a circle. Or something. Why you say that? I don't know, because, you know, funny shit, embarrassing shit go viral. So I need y'all to touch on it, pinpoint it specifically. Okay. So one time in my lifetime, right? One time. I was going to, I had been in an all-white school all my life. Ninth grade. Mm -hmm. I come to Greenville. Mm -hmm. Go to a black high school. Get off the school bus one day. Mm -hmm. Literally like eight bitches beat my ass. When I say they beat my ass, mm -hmm. they beat the fuck out of me. Yeah. Who did? That would have been viral. What happened again? Bitch, you know, because you rode a school bus the next day. He said, these bitches ganged my sister. Oh, yeah. I was with all the <laughs> shit. I was ready to shoot them up. Bang, so listen, bang, everything. So it was this old man. He was like, oh, shit. I know that ain't Miss Domingo, daughter. <laughs> Y'all bitches going to have to pay. <laughs> so they, oh, beat, no, they beat the shit out of me. They Literally. Beat, they beat, not, I didn't shit on myself, but they beat the shit out of me. Yeah. And, and I had no idea why. Let me tell you what happened. So that would have been viral. Know, that that day when they got out of school, my mama, all my aunts, and I have six, seven aunts. I have seven aunts. Mm -hmm. Up at the bus station. Bus wait, stop. Bus, <laughs> bus station, bus stop, waiting for them. Mm -hmm. My aunt Ski said, bitch, I fight kids and I kill them. So we, we couldn't find them. My mom went to the school the next day. She hit the little girl. They was in the office because my mama had called the school beforehand. So it's like mm -hmm. five of them in the office. Me and my mama walk in. She was like, I was like, there they go, mom. The girl on the phone calling the mama because they got suspended for doing this shit. My mama took the phone out of the girl's hand, hit in the head with a blue bitch, you motherfucking. It was crazy. It was crazy. So then, okay. So 
They had to go home from school. My mama ended up getting put on trespass from the high school. So I go to school. When I get out of school, it's like 30 of my family members at the school. <laughs> you know, we was Waiting. ready. Everybody was going to jail. Listen, Everybody. We do. When we pull up, we pull up. We pull strong. up. That would have been a viral moment. <laughs> that would have been. Like, so. Um, Tell come in. Come in. So with it going viral, like, I said, like, Stand, a standpoint from a artist, like a popular major artist? artist, a major Hi. artist. Hey, my hey, love. baby. How you doing? Slide in this way for me, baby. Well, can she slide in? I'm going to have to get you to crawl under. We can't get you. We can't <laughs> crawl under. <laughs> you got, yes, you already know. This, she works out, baby. Yes, she works out. She yes. does. Miss Pat, Pat is in the is building. In the building. How you doing, baby? Yes. No, we got everything on camera right here. Just my crawling. They're just gonna see a pop up like a jack in the box. Bing. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I see up, you. Yes. You do big <laughs> booties. Matter. So tell me this, y'all. Do y'all think it's acceptable to accept poor customer services from? African American businesses. I, honestly, I don't think it's susceptible from nobody. But you know what? I just deal with shit. I just rather have the peace. You know what I'm saying? So you'd rather go to a white business no, instead of a black saying. business? That's that's not what she what I'm said. Saying. Oh, I thought because that's what I heard. She said she'd rather example, deal with the it. seafood spot. They have, and I'm calling them out. They Ooh. have terrible the seafood spot. No. That's the name of it. Listen. Oh, no. they have terrible customer service. They ignore you. The girl, she's always on the phone. I hope that I hope somebody from there watching, but the customer service is terrible. But that's why I'm gonna eat it. You know, I don't. I I had a. I do you want to eat there because it's a black business, or do you want to eat there because you like it? It's black business, and I like it. I okay, know. so you'll deal with the. And bad I would customer just rather service. have the peace because I've I've worked in the service industry for a long time, and and I, I'm always thinking about other people, and that might be my that might be my flaw. I'm always thinking about other people. Like maybe she's having a bad day. I don't want to make it worse because people are crazy. Yeah. So I just get my stuff and go on about my business. But you do argue. support even though they have nasty attitudes yeah. and don't know how to conduct That's like a professional. That's the place on 95, coming up 95, um, uh, the cl- the chicken licking. That's the name of it, the chicken licking. Chicken licking? Yes. It's like the dopest chicken shack Sound ever. Good. The food is so good. Yeah. But their customer service is terrible. And it's black owned? And it's black owned. The customer so, service is terrible, but I want that chicken. Well, I'm not going <laughs> to. Put all the blame on black black owned businesses. I'm just I've been restaurants we go to high no, end. No, no, I'm just asking like But I'm just yeah. saying, high end. Yeah. They don't serve us well because they think we're not gonna tip. Yeah. That's true. I'm a tipper. It's true. It's You're gonna get tipped. Yeah. And it's gonna be a damn good tip. Mm-hmm. Just if I if I ask for something and I don't have no attitude and you're in customer service, just give me what I ask for. Yeah. Right. Look out for me, I'm gonna look out for you. So does end that end of the day. Does that turn you off from, like, because lo- it's a lot of black um, businesses that's trying to come up and, you know, they say we have an attitude. My my intake on it is everywhere has attitudes. Everywhere does have mm-hmm. attitudes. Except but Chick-fil-A. it's a, yeah, Chick- <laughs> Chick-fil-A is fucking amazing. Shout out to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> yes, yes. You can't Chick- deny Chick- that. I would. I want to see my black community doing better. I want to see my black community doing good, but it's like, listen. If I had a business, I would conduct it in a professional way. I would conduct it in in a way where I'll make sure my staff understand that. Listen, we are a business. We have to treat our customers the way we want to be treated. I'm not gonna not shop at. Well, I, I'm not gonna lie. I probably would. Customer service is everything to me. Mm-hmm. Your first impression is everything to me. If it if it's nasty, I'm not gonna do it. I don't. We don't. What? Stop fucking with a whole club yeah. and a whole everything just because of one statement that you made. Because I have a nasty mouth. Like a club that we went to, the bartender was so nasty. I, I let her get away with it twice. The third mm-hmm. time, I said, "Bitch, I will smack the fuck out of you. You must don't know me." Yep. And she was just being rude for no reason. I, was I like, never uh, went back. Let me talk to you right quick. She was like, huh, you want to talk to me? Yeah. I never went back. Come on, let me talk to you. My sister's trying to order some drinks. The first time you had an attitude. The second time you had an attitude. 
What's and the problem? I, I'm a three strikes person. Like we ain't fucking your nigga. Like what's up? And yeah, the shit is crazy. But how how would you like if if a black business had bad customer service? Would you continue to go or what? No, I wouldn't. No? I yeah. couldn't. And if 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 it was if it's a white establishment, it well, doesn't matter. For, it's, it's customer service. So my thing is like the places that I that I, I I guess I'll say the customer service is bad because I don't feel like they're attentive. They didn't necessarily have bad yeah. attitudes. Well, no, I they were well, just I wouldn't. That's I wouldn't call it like, me neither. Because a, a lot of restaurants they okay. they. Well, my, well, but I'm saying it's like if I'm standing right here trying to take an order and you like hold on one minute. Uh-huh. Wait, that, that's girl, different. She did what? She did what? That's like, different. Girl, we gonna pull up on her when I get off. Hold on, I got somebody. No, that's different. Let me get this girl off from in front of me. Hold on. You know, like I would have been like, "Oh, girl, you need us to pull up too." No. <laughs> okay, so while we're talking about eating, mm-hmm. let's go into your eating habits. Eating yes, habits. we got the fitness queen in the fitness building. Queen. Yes, yes, yes. And Acolyne. I gotta show y'all this body once we get Amazing. offline. Listen. Akalon, 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 all I can express and scream out is Akalon. Akalon is pretty much a life change. Ah, I, I heard that Akalon, you could, like, they, they, a lot of, well, what I've been reading, and they were saying that it can chemically unbalance you if you have too much Akalon. So mm-hmm. how do you balance it out? It's, because you, made, it's God made. God yeah. made. So how can it? But God also made the other side of the spectrum as well. The other side of the spectrum is induced and also incorrupted by men made as well. Even with alkaline, but like, I, well, you have to be you have to be very um, critical on that because certain fruits and veggies like limes, been, yeah, all that. You know, yeah. you have key limes, you have limes. Yeah, mm-hmm. key limes is made from God. Yeah, limes are made from man made. Uh-huh. Right. You have bananas, you have burrow bananas. So it's everything entwined. But you have, um, let's see, um, let's see, we can see another one. We can go with strawberries. Strawberries. Mm-hmm. Everybody loves strawberries. Uh-huh. Man made. Mm-hmm. We can talk about these so, different so types of what oranges. Fruit did yes, it come from? Oranges. Yeah. Oranges, I just cut out because it's, it's so hard to figure out. We can't even find the, the right orange. Watermelon. Yeah, I hate Seed- seedless oh. white. I hate seedless grapes. I hate seedless anything because I, I can't, you can't even find, like, stuff with seeds in it now. I found one bag, one Which, bag at, what was it? Um, I can't even think of the grocery store, Aldi's. Aldi's had it, one bag of grapes, seeded grapes. Seeded and it was grapes, delicious. yes, yes. I like to, you know. I had to <laughs> order my raisins from California. So, so I have to be free game. I got three. I got six pounds of um, seeded r- raisins. They're like literally um, probably the size of your pinky. Yeah, they're huge, but they're so good. Uh, so tell me a little bit about this alkaline and the balance you were saying. So pretty much, what alkaline is pretty. As a, um, you have to slowly transition because if you don't want to over impact your body and mm. shock your body all at once, because then you're not going to make it. Yeah. So I call elimination. I eliminate red meat. I eliminate chicken. I eliminate tuna, fish. I have to um, eliminate. Are you straight vegan? Yes, but yeah. I have my cheat days. Uh, I'm sorry, I do have my cheat days. So you're not vegan one. if you have I'm a cheat not day. vegan. I'm working. I'm literally when you're doing alkaline, you don't eat. All you're eating is be- um, fruited, seeded, um, seeded vegetables and seeded fruit. So how so long does it take to wing transition? off? Yeah, it's depending on who you. You have to be you're literally about all about Self your mind control. Mm-hmm. Self so tell me this: mind control. how do we do it? Like, cause like you said, we can't find seeded oranges. We can't find seeded. We can't find this stuff. We can't find seeded bananas, which is the real bananas. The bananas is this big and not the ones that we eat now. So how do you do it without being able to be able to afford it? Well, let's, I mean, let's go about it. I actually have to say I have spent less money being alkaline than eating all the bad foods. What do you mean? Okay, so cantaloupe. Cantaloupe is how much is store. I like cantaloupe. Too. And you can eat cantaloupe. You can eat cantaloupe all day when you do alkaline, and it's how much a dollar ninety nine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you go to Sprouts, two ninety nine. But if you go to all these, it's like one ninety nine or mm-hmm. even less than that. Yeah, you can cantaloupe all day. And so eat what you want. Just cantaloupe. You can cantaloupe because it's a water based plant and it's seeded. So it's seeded. So how, what about the sugars that's in it? Sugar is fine because it's balanced. It balances out because I'm drinking nothing but gallon. I'm drinking a gallon of key lime water or ginger water. So tell me that cause I do do the ginger root. Listen, yes. I when I get sick, this is what I cook, and I I, I figure this out. I put turmeric, am I say turmeric? Am I saying that correct? Ginger root. I put an onion, and I boil it in water, and I drink it, and I put lemon in it. Okay, so and if, honey, if you were doing alkaline turmeric, no, lemon, no, honey, no. We have substitutes for it. What is it? So it's Oops. agiva. Agiva. No, quick question. Why is lemon or no? Lemon is um, it is actually a man-made. I have to do. It's two fruits mixed into one. So what? it's well, a okay. hybrid. 
Yes. So where? So I call okay. When I say man made, it's hybrid. So where did lemon stem from? Like it's um. I have to think. Uh, um. Hold on. I have to think of it. No worries. It's, it's mm-hmm. lime. It's a lime. Maybe a key lime, and I forgot what else. It's weird how they did the two okay. fruits. Because a banana is a melon, and a, um. Oh gosh, I can't That's think why of we it. Don't have the real, yes. Like, they have so what about the strawberries? Do you know strawberries? I love favorite. strawberries. I do too. I love My best broccoli. friend just made me some delicious white talking <laughs> strawberries. Her mom, <laughs> and yes, I'm sorry. I told so you how is that? How was that like? When I cheat, you have to go 36 oh, or 48 hours for um, um, fasting. Mm-hmm. That's the only way to reach your body. When you go 36, eight, 36 to 48 hours fasting, I do four days when I fast. Yes, mentally, and I'm like. <clears throat> Here, every, like when I fast, like I'm like perfect. When you do that, drink the lemon, drink a gallon of lemon or key lime water. Period. I do tea and coffee. Cut the coffee. I can't cut the coffee because I don't put no sugar or anything in it's my just coffee. black coffee. Yeah. Okay, so we can balance that out, but drink more of the key lime and ginger water. No tea. And when you wake up first thing in the morning, first thing you I do, do my detox tea. I first do my... thing in the morning you should do now. Period is two cups of water. I do that. Warm it. And put squeeze a key lime or a ginger and drink that in the morning. That will actually remove all the mucus and everything out of your morning, I, so out of your body. In the morning, I do. I drink um, sixteen ounces of hot water. I do that. Put the key tap, lime and water. Tap water though. No, gotta be spring water. Gotta be one hundred percent spring Which water. I, if I buy bottled water, it, it, it is spring water. No, but I it, use tap water. Okay, so when there's actually a list, and I can send to you exactly the list. Please I think do. I sent to your sister already mm-hmm. a list of spring water, but I got to update the list okay. I because love my list water. is cr- uh, is more. It has is my list is more going to be exactly because I have actually an herbalist that I'm dealing with because I have a lot of mer- shout uh, him out, shout him out, shout him out. His name is Alkaline Athletic. He is actually on Instagram. He is um, from up north. He is a beast. He is very young, but he knows everything. He can help you. He has cured um, diabetes, COVID. Um, almost everything you can think of, even sexual communities, he, he, he pretty much so he, do everything. That, he can make that conchie tied again. Yes, he can, <laughs> he can do that conchie. He can make that conchie tied yes. again. So I want to um, <laughs> that conchie, y'all. I want to see like, do y'all think people are really comfortable in their skin nowadays? Since we have the cameras, we have everything. Like in a minute, somebody could. Oh, I'm, I'm, you going about? Do y'all think they are comfortable with themselves going no. out? No. Because I don't think they're comfortable. I mean, you're talking about with the COVID or comfortable just being... Comfortable being them, being their self. No, because you have so much filters. If you think about it, every picture has a filter. I have to say, I have to base my me, myself. I'm comfortable because I can walk out with makeup. But if I take a picture, I'm going to have a cute little filter on. I mean, every now and then. Mm. But, I mean, would you say comfortable? Like, comfortable, like, just comfortable in your skin like me. I snatch out this wig every night. I got the Sealy braids in the back. But, but you ain't going to see me go live with this shit. now, I, and Because I would feel uncomfortable because I feel like, okay, this person don't know me. I got a fucking amazing personality, but you don't know my personality by seeing this picture. So what's going to be said? So you choose a book by its cover. That's what you're looking at. Because you so, see... But so, that's anybody, because you go, that's what that's what attracts you, is going to be what they look mm-hmm. like. You, I mean, if we were all blind, mm-hmm. then we were all going to be like Ray Charles when he was going to the wrist. He's like, oh, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. you a thick one right yes, now. Yes, uh-huh. <laughs> so you go by your, I mean, it, it's something that attracts you. It may not be your smile, maybe your eyes, mm-hmm. maybe your hair. It might just be something. your spirit. There you yeah. go. But, like, no, I'm just, I'm, I I guess I'm basing this off appearance. And then I want to look at it from a, 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 a male perspective. If you were able to do this, are you able to do this in front of us, somebody that you're attracted to? Are you comfortable with doing this with someone you're attracted to? Or is it No. Are you comfortable in the skin that as you far in? As if a, you woke up with no wig in the on, home or no period, no makeup on, no wig on. in the home or on social media? Everywhere, every aspect. Bitch, you Both know me. <laughs> I would walk <laughs> around bald headed with no makeup on. <laughs> that body, yes, banging. Yes. I guess I um. Well, in the day, they're gonna see who you really are. Yeah. I mean, so basically, you can wear a but mask all your life. But social media. Would never see who you really are unless you portray that image to them. So if, say for instance, if I had like 150k followers, and or if you had 150k followers or you had a million followers, would you allow yourself to be yourself yes. in front of all these people? What you see is what you get because I never want you to meet me and they be like, you. "Oh, this my is personality not who I see. is that." That my personality is definitely that. You get tired. Me. Yeah, I you get am. Listen, that's a full job. Doing that. 
Because you be scared. It seems like maybe walk around your house and somebody, I mean, anything can hide. So you make just walk to your mailbox and somebody might drive by, be your postman, see you, take a picture. This is how she really looks. So it's best to be who you really are mm-hmm. 24 So seven, y'all are comfortable. So basically, I, I am. Saying, yes, I'm comfortable. Yeah. You know what about you, love? I'm not comfortable. Listen, I Unless, you know, you know it had to be that day. Up to work. You know, I'm 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 cool. I don't need. I'm mean, I'm gonna wear my wig. Cause Either you love me or don't. I don't and throw these and that's, to the that's, back, and I'm gonna throw a wig on. Yeah. But I have no problem wearing my real hair when I actually feel like. Yeah. I guess it's more me. It. I don't even gotta sell it. I wear a fro. I can do that in, in front of. On. I can do that in front of somebody I love, but no like makeup. If it's I'm posting something, I'm gonna throw some eyeshadow on. I'm gonna throw some lipstick on, I'm gonna put and I'm gonna throw a filter on. Lipstick and eyeshadow. My, my, my Even though I'm still cute, you know, I'm cute as fuck with my little fro, you know what I'm saying? But I don't want them to see that. So I don't feel comfortable displaying my real self. My only and thing is what? those people that are critiquing me and talking down about me probably look ten times worse than me. Yeah. Or, or, or equivalent like or better. I'm not saying. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I can't be unhappy with myself. And I'm not unhappy with I myself. I ain't you are. But... It's bitches' limits. How? I don't give it's, a fuck about what you see. Is what you Because these people ain't paying my bills, and half of them don't have as much money. But y'all want to know who is half pretty? Of them don't have nothing do going you, on. There's y'all, a lot of them that do, but fuck these. People. I just like it no, has but to y'all want to know who is pretty, prettier without makeup. Who? Megan the Stallion's face is amazing. She's gorgeous. Yes, amazing she is. without the makeup. And Nicki Minaj is too. Yes. Yes. Amazing yes, yes. without the makeup. But you know, but people like what they like. But Pam, I they it was it was brought to me like this. You are a brand. Mm-hmm. You have to sell your brand. Mm-hmm. You have to make people want you. Okay. So what that means, you have to be perfect in the eyes of others. So your hair need to be done, your face need to be done, because you you're selling yourself. And a lot and, of people and, like perfection. But that could be, I don't That's understand that because industry. there's some people can love you and love you more because who you are and you nah, love nah, you nah, accepting. No, nah, with this fake society, especially in the route that All I'm right. trying you to know, say everybody with my think music. They, their reality show, like, <laughs> they think they're, you know, they think they're famous. Everybody. Okay. But I do understand because no. it was one bar that I worked at once. And I That's was how you natural. make your money, right? I wore my hair. Yeah, and I was I, natural every day. And he says. You need to start wearing more weave in your hair and doing your makeup. Mm, mm. Like, he wanted me to look like a stripper. Like, he wanted me to be bedazzled out every day. And I can and say this. I my like, touch on this is, again, you are a brand. When you go inside somebody's establishment, establishment place of business, if they want you to do a certain thing and you work there, you got not it. not sell your soul. Don't you say your culture cat. But no, no. But look wise, you should do it. No, yeah. Megan, you know no, how I'm not I feel. We gotta be out here looking like bums. No, but it's okay to not have on makeup. It's okay to. First not it is all. okay when you're not at work. If you're no, working in a no, place that you're selling work, yourself, even if I'm at work, that natural beauty gonna kick in. We don't gotta do all that. Every now and then, I might I might just put on eyelashes when I go to work because I ain't got cool. no eyelashes. Mm-hmm. Um, or just some real thick mascara. And that'll be it. I'm not doing nothing else. I, okay. And no, people still come, first come of all, to me and come on, talk what to it me. What it sounds like you're saying is, what I'm you know me. Uh huh. I buy hair. Yep. What kind of hair I buy? You buy good hair. I buy ethnic hair. You do. I buy the dreads. I buy the froze. I buy See, the kiki straight we're hair. Gonna, we're gonna, so we're, you ain't going to tell me because I got supposed to be black hair in dreads that, that was I'm not, not good enough to work. That was not what I she said. She just said she had her no. real hair with the fro. She might have had her real hair with the flow. Maybe she he was saying I that I want I, I, I want it to be more feminine. That's, okay, that's so if I have that. a if I have an establishment establishment, if I have somewhere that I want you to work and I have certain standards, that's what I'm expecting. Then don't expect me to work I if I can't have I a flow or dress. If you accept the job and I say I need you to do this, then quit. Well, I'm not going to even accept it. But nigga, bitch, if I can't wear my fro, bitch, bitch, you already I mean, know. Like it's not about your fro. That's it's not about that. Us, anything us ethnic, black people, they don't want that's, it. No, that's us not as black people, we're ethnic. already fighting about that because we want to be able to wear our natural hair. So all, these, all these white people. Wait, are, I'm not making it racial mm, because you no, can't wear your natural hair. You no, have no, to. No, people you made have it a to. No, a lot of like, times you where cannot. They didn't want that. Yeah. They didn't but want we surpassed that. We're not even talking about that. If you come in my business you want to wear your natural hair, put some makeup on and wear something nice with your natural hair. Why did her face not good enough? I put some makeup if you're on working at a makeup nice. store, 
Yeah. And if okay, she's so a speak, DJ, speaking if she, of this, you're talking about DJing, right? No. Where you was at? I'm talking about bartending. You bar- bartending. Prime example. You are you're selling yourself to make drinks. You're selling yourself to make tips. I'm not selling so, an image. I am selling the real me. You're going to get it raw. But period. If and I, I have never had I, I can't I I I I have to disagree. I have, okay, so speaking of this, cuz all, all of us is bartenders in here. Mm-hmm. You're a bartender. Mm-hmm. I've been a bartender. My sister a bartender. You're a bartender. Mm-hmm. I have to completely disagree. I feel like I need to Fix myself up to be presentable. My hair is to gonna sell. be done, period. Because I have but to I sell have to me. Put on makeup. And I and I guarantee you, every single day that I've worked, somebody tipping me a hundred dollars, period, hundred dollar bill. Yeah, got but it last night got it up church and with no makeup. And people always tell okay, me you're but, so beautiful. So your skin is. I'm not you saying that, skin. but if the owner asks you to put. To to dress up, why why would no, it be offensive? No, she didn't say about dressing up. Okay, she's so just, I do dress understand. Dress up is everything. I'm, I'm saying both. I'm no, okay, both let me say I, this I, before you finish. Right. My ex boyfriend went to get a job. The manager told him to cut his fucking hair. Fuck no, I wouldn't. His, he been growing his hair for ten years, and you want me to cut my hair and stop being like, you want me not to be me? I'm not. I'm gonna be myself. I've been growing his hair for ten years. I would never do that. Would a white if a white person came in there with long hair? Would you tell them to cut their hair off? Mm-mm. I was only because what, no, I know what Megan. Okay, what Megan stated is that okay, there are certain jobs that do uh, want to, want you to come in, be presentable, Makeup be stores. respectful, respectful. Not meaning even this, respectful. Well, no, just mean like dress accordingly because you know some people have dress codes. Certain right. people want you to look professional. Some mm-hmm. people want you to look presentable because if you're the face of the actual establishment, that you are the, what they see. So I understand what Megan's saying. Okay, and I understand what you're saying too. Saying that this is me. I okay, I can wear my natural hair. Yes, you can wear your natural hair. But, but just saying, customer don't customer service. Yeah, just if you no. have a short hair fade, make sure you, you it's cut. Make sure it's not looking like you know you got be your shade. Right. Be That's you. what I'm saying. That's right. what, and, and, and dress and it up. Always, okay, it was so it's always tapered. It was always tapered. She's not talking it's about you know like like the natural thing. Enough. Yeah, yeah, don't go so get your face beat up or nothing like that. And by, if I you know, own a bar, I would have and you could call it bias. My bitch is gonna be bad, bitch. I need you to come in here like you worth a million dollars. Come in here, cause you look like a million dollars. You gonna make money. Them go, they gonna come to the bar and be like, "Hey, just to see your pretty face and tip you in by drink." Half of the time, I don't even wear makeup to work. I get that without makeup, and I'm not but a bad bitch. I'm a great bitch, woman. Bitch, you already know though. <laughs> well, <laughs> listen, like, I guess it's it's again, like I. The only reason why it bothers me, not with the how you supposed to dress in the city. But sometimes people are born ugly. It's not their fault that they're ugly. You can't tell them they can't be ugly at work. That's no, fucked up. No, that's not. I, I'm not saying that. But if I feel, if you know, I rarely say people are ugly. I, I rarely okay, say people are ugly My or unattractive because I feel like it's something unique about each individual. I feel like everybody is beautiful. But if I say I need you to come in, put some lashes on. Do your makeup. You have a great personality. So my lashes that good enough for you? No, Pretty bitch, much. put some mascara on it. <laughs> Come to work like it's your first day, like you um, um, exactly. for the job, like and an interview. And, and, I'm, and you, you, are, you are rather for me to be like, I'm not going to hire you. Mm-hmm. I love your personality. You have the personality to work here. Just your appearance-wise, please just step your game up. What is wrong with that? Well, I mean, that's what I was. Bit, I no, was, gonna, I was trying to work at um, what was it? Buck? No, what was? What's the one? Twin Peaks. Yeah. I wanted to work at Twin Peaks. You had too much body. Yeah, too much booty. Lady said the manager sat there and looked at me in the face. Your butt's too big. Too much body. Too much butt. You're, you yeah. have to lose your butt. You can go to Atlanta, but you can't work here in Georgia, Greenville. So it can be either side. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not saying I want you to look homeless and work. <laughs> I but mean, that's if what they I'm have taking standards out of. and you no, don't you're meet not. those standards, that's fine. Yes. Just yeah. go somewhere where you can be yourself. Exactly. But, but not at my establishment. Bad bitches only. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> hey, I want to ask Some a question. Bad bitches be thieves. <laughs> bitch, and they fired till bitch you mm-hmm. fired. <laughs> bitch you dead. You ain't making $800 mm-hmm. a night mm-hmm. until which the original. So, y- y'all know how. <laughs> 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 right. Y'all know how savage the generation is now. It's like they need a nigga to be toxic. And I hate that shit. I don't want a toxic nigga. So Russell Wilson, Sierra husband, do y'all think it's a place for him, like in today's society? There's always a place. For I him. love Russell Wilson. First of all, I would marry him. My dad. Have, 
Mm-hmm. My dad mm-hmm. is a good man. Yes, yep. he is. Yeah. Yes, he is. Uh, yeah. I know. Just like, my dad, dad is, is fine. a fine man. <laughs> yes, he is. Okay. <laughs> So um, a lot of people clown him, like a lot of males clown him. They had no like, father figures. Is that they what don't it give is? a fuck about their mugs mm. or baby mamas. Mm. None of it, because we know mm. they ain't got no wives if they don't. Uh, got three salute pieces. to what he doing. Mm. They they clown him. They they feel you, like you can't clown him. It was like it was that. something on the internet today. A dude wrote. He was like, he got all this money. He's in the NFL. Sierra's not that cute. I seen She's, it. Can you verbatimly say that? Can you I cannot, but I can tell you what I told him. What'd you tell him? <laughs> What'd you tell him? <laughs> I said, I bet your mama fat, black, and ugly, bitch. And it came from a man. Like, yeah. I mean. And then when man. I went to go look at his mama, she, she was a single ugly. mom that was fat, black, and ugly. Uh, don't call her ugly, Danny. Well, she, if she ugly, she ugly. Unattractive. That's what it is. Unattractive. 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 So don't come for people. Like, if you don't want the, the shade, don't fucking. Hold up and I have no problem with fat, black, and ugly people. Yep. Unattractive people. Mm. <laughs> I love everybody. But don't try to throw him under the bus because he want to be a good man. How is being a good man? Why is it clowned out oh, now? I never get that. Like, that shit is the, beyond it's me. It's not the thing. Like, no. people I want a good nigga. Listen. Listen. Where I'm, you I'm at okay, if you're out there? I'm okay with being out of the limelight. I'm okay with being, if I was unpopular, Listen. I would be okay with that. I don't give a fuck about all this yeah. shit. If you a good man's if you out there, listen, I suck dick, I clean, I know how to cook, I work, I do all that good shit. So if you at, hit me up now. <laughs> oh shit. Pat, Pat, understand. Okay, let's take it to sex talk with Icky Vicky. We like to talk a little nasty. A little, a little nasty. He's Vicky, he get real sticky when you licky. He eat it like a boss with a pension. He got some pool when he in it. Don't drown in the pool when you swimming. I hope you don't drown, baby, keep up. Cause when you put it down, I'ma keep up. When you put it down, I'ma keep up. Bad bitch and I own it. Savage, no opponent. Cowgirl when I'm on it. I ain't got no opponent. Yeah, whatever. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, ladies, since it's a ladies' night, do y'all lick ass? Mm-mm. No. No? What? Mm-mm. What? Mm-mm. Balls? Do y'all lick the, the, the crevice part of the balls? I'm like, you know, the, like ass. the little gouch area? The ABC? That, that's fine. <laughs> do you lick I'm it? Not no ass. <laughs> ass not booty connected. No ass. <laughs> y'all not licking no ass? Are you licking ass? You know, no. What about the little gouch area? Do y'all freaky. lick the, the gouch area? The fuck? I will. You, you, me too. I put the whole dick in my mouth and them balls. You eat, that couch you eat show, me how my, how, show me how wide your mouth open. The eye. Well, we know oh, she like, wait a minute. Uh, I'll show you off camera because I'm, I'm, I'm with all this shit. You ain't ready for this. Like, I'm a freak. I'm an undercover freak. Like, I want a freak in the morning and a freak in the, the evening. Right what? Oh, you were the 1800. No, no, the 1800. No, do it with the That's a tip. That's like, a tip. Oh! Yeah, that's wait, a tip. Wait, this one? <laughs> yeah, that's a tip. This tilt. is nothing. Oh, yeah, that's, that's something. That's oh, something. That's hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is big. Hold on. Relax, relax. relax. Don't put relax. COVID on the mic. <laughs> I could try, though. That's huge. That's COVID. Huge. That's what? Oh, bring, I, could, I, could, I could do this one. I'm bringing, oh, a, more, I'm bringing, bringing a pickle next week. Right there. It's a hangover. That's a hangover. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hold on. I swear to God, I'm going to master that shit no, next week. No, for real. Hey, you got to be on here. I'm going to open that. We're doing a pickle challenge next week. Oh, shit. I'm down for it. I'm bringing some pickles. We're doing it. Listen, bring a banana. A fake banana. Yeah, because I'm going to bite it. I'm going to stick it. I'm going to do it. Oh, I got to get this. This is going to trouble me now. I'm going to work on that. My man gonna be excited when I learn how to. Do you lick ass? Do I lick ass? Mm-hmm. No, I don't lick ass. But if my nigga want me to lick his ass, I will. So you, so you lick ass? I will. I don't lick you the female ass. ass. Listen, lick I will lick ass. Mother. I'm not licking nobody's ass. If it pleases ass, my no man, I'm, I'm licking no ass. ass. I'm not licking no ass. No, thank period. You. But I did have. A I don't care. Where oh, I had this guy who Listen, really I don't um, care. Um, I li- especially dominatrix. Uh huh. And he wanted to be the dominant one. He, I was usually the dominant. But he tied me up one night, right? And he was like, I'm going to do something that you that you don't want to do. And when I was tied up, 
he sat on my face and tried to force me to lick his ass. I think I almost bit his nuts back off. Oh, Wait a minute. I'm not licking no ass. He and won't... I'm coming to fuck up out these straps because I'm ready to So do y'all think it's gay like, when a, a female lick a nigga ass? No, I don't think it's gay. No. That's their preference. They it's like what they, what like, they like. But I feel like I'm whatever you do in the bedroom. Period. It stays in the bedroom. With the woman. It stays in the bedroom. Or a man if you want me. It's not yeah. gay if you're not with the um, same sex. I don't mind licking ass. Then I lick would ass. lick ass. I would. Lick the Cause ass. Because the niggas I fuck with are actually, like, clean. They take, like, three, four baths. They, like, metrosexuals. They get, they, you know. Mm-mm. And the females that I did deal with, that was that was fairly clean. So, I would, you know. I don't care about none licking. of you. No? No ass. No ass? No, no ass licking? No ass licking. No, no thank you. Me neither. I don't eat chillings either. So That's I'm disgusting. No I'm not. Uh-uh. <laughs> But yeah, if but I do remember this one time so my ex boyfriend. <laughs> this is story. Listen, listen. Go ahead. <laughs> so <laughs> she got too close for his. I'm comfort. giving him some head, right? You know, we. I'm in the mood. Boom, boom, bam, bam. Next thing I know, I get punched in the top of my head. Boop, so I'm not like one, not two, but he did it three. He boop, was boop. like, "What the fuck is you doing? I ain't with that gay shit." I'm like, "Baby, what, what, what happened?" He was like, I don't play that ass shit, but it wasn't his ass, though. I might have just went a little area. too low. The little gouch area. And he put it on top of the head. He was like, you know what? I'm done fucking. It's over with. Well, that's a good sign that you know you don't have to worry about nothing. Exactly. It's it's, so, do but he y'all, punched me in the head. He did knock you out. Oh, what about anal sex, y'all? I don't mind it if it's anal. not too big. You? I had anal sex with one person. That was one of my ex-boyfriends. Was it good? It was fine with him, but Brandon couldn't. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You can't go. Brandon can't put nothing in there. What about Listen, somebody tell me? Like, I have to do it every now and then. Well, every now and then, it's like my enema. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh. I'm just kidding. No, but every now and then, yeah, I will, I'm I'm with that. Ain't no sex. Like, I'm still not looking no ass. Still looking no ass. Listen, looking but no you like anal sex? No, I had a bad experience. Bitch, I had a bad I experience. See, too. Um, Let me hear about this experience mm-hmm. with this anal. No, no. It was. <laughs> uh, let me tell you, we was in a. I was in a washroom. I was bending over, right, putting the putting the stuff in the dryer. And he comes in, he grabs me, then he was like pull my pants. I was like, okay, yo, all right. And then he was like, oh, I was like, oh, what's that? <laughs> shit, I, I wasn't, wasn't ready. ready. Had to, nigga, it was ready. a mistake. So you gotta, it, you my gotta, butt was bleeding you for two days. Yourself for that, you gotta, you gotta but get it. When well, we fucking, I do like to, I do like you to put your bloop, put that thumb in there while you up there. <laughs> oh, that's something to me. <laughs> that thumb in that butt, that booty hole like plastic. <laughs> I yeah, fucking out of control. love it. I, so, what's y'all touch on a threesome? Mm-hmm. I know y'all bitches hate. Y'all don't even fuck with women. Mm-hmm. Pat no. Daddy, mm-hmm. I need to know this. What's your no, take on a threesome? You. I never had one. I'm too jealous to have one, but I do like men and women. So it probably, if I was in, if I would, my mental state was there, I probably would enjoy it. I'm too jealous. So you can't have a threesome with your man? No, because I probably beat the shit out the bitch after she leaves. Like, bitch, you right. was too good. I ain't going down there. Fuck all that. Nah. What the fuck you mean? You know what I'm saying? I no. don't like the shares. No, thank what you. about you, love? I'm not sharing. Mm. Tied up and whipped. Mm-hmm. I'm not sharing with my man. Mm-hmm. I want that. You like? Let d- me just say that I'm not sharing with my man. Period. But I don't. I don't share, but sharing is caring. So, what you think about the dudes that have the two wives? Because I honestly, when I see, I kind of want a wife and a husband. I thought about I it. I, I want no, a wife. No, I didn't say. I'm not against not that. My I'm not, me neither. Have a wife and a husband. I'm not against that. But I want one. So when I, I seen the dude, the fine dude with the beard and two pretty wives, I was like, um. Never, I never thought about it. But when I seen, it, I was like, "So, is it a best? You got a best friend and a boyfriend? Like, but you get the hunch on your best friend. I don't know how it works. Would you enjoy that? I don't know. I Would want you? a wife and a husband. I want a wife and I want a husband. I don't want my husband to have a wife. That's selfish as fuck. I'm fucking selfish. I, I'm I'm working on I'm me. Selfish. I'm working on me, and I'm trying to get it together. But y'all just don't understand. Like my mind be like, oh no. It, I guess if we, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I guess I see you in this lifetime. <laughs> what I just you think, my husband, That's it. I'm not sharing. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. But I, if you get somebody like me that cook clean, 
he ass and everything. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see my man <laughs> touching man. nobody Listen, else. Listen, no. Okay. Why not? I want to kill you. I don't want to touch him. Megan, That's you know it. how it was with my toys when I was little. Don't touch my shit. It's mine. I, I don't want to share all her shit. That's what I knew. I don't want to share. I don't want to share. I was like, share. yeah, this my shit. She listen. One day, <laughs> <laughs> she was like, I said, can I wear this thing? Yeah. She's like, get out of my room. She said, shut my door. I came in the room and shut the door. I said, so can I wear? This? <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, do y'all think we should be open to? Having a polygamous relationship instead of being monogamous. No, I think if that's your choice, no, like then you should be open. Do to you it. think a man? I think like it, do you, naturally. Do you think a man was supposed to be with one woman? Naturally. Do you think God do, do said this man? I put all these beautiful women on earth for you to just be with one. So you, all these handsome men on exactly. But. If you, uh-uh. you want to statistically break it down, is we do know it's more women, but black women. Yeah. But God didn't tell him he can do that. And I God couldn't. did tell him that. When? We, this man talked to God. So, if you want to go to animal, animal kingdom. I'm not an animal. Are, I'm a human. So, polygamy. Do you not think that men were supposed to have multiple wives? I never thought about it, but I Our am going to say are, this. Women are supposed to I have do multiple think husbands. I'm, I do think I'm good enough to have a yeah. man love me. Holy, without wanting another And you don't think woman. he can hold, love you holy without, you don't think he can love you, you don't think he can love you in another woman? No, same? you know how I feel about it, no. Why? What you mean, why? Why don't, why don't you think you that You can't be in love with two no. people. You can't time. be no, in you love. Cannot. I had this conversation. One ass can ride two donkeys. Yes, no. you can be uh-huh. in love with, you can love, you can be in love with five different people. But you can love these five different people with in different ways. That, and if and I that love means you in a different way. I'm not in love with you. Exactly. I don't know no. about you. Exactly. No, that's absolutely incorrect. Why incorrect.